Welcome to this uh, VHF UHF channel and uh, I wanted to share some information here. Um, a few of you have been asking me uh, what are the different amateur radio frequency ranges in the VHF UHF range. And uh, this is useful because amateur radio operations is one of the easiest things to monitor on any type of scanner radio or you know communications receiver that goes in the VHF UHF range so that's a good start when you want to listen to some signals there are of course new modes now that have some digital stuff on the bands but a lot of it is still analog now this is the ARRL band plan it does not reflect the full world because there are many countries that restrict certain frequencies. So this gives you an idea of where to listen to, but does not mean that if you're in Europe, for example, that in a country that you live in, this is the exact band plan for you guys. But it will give you an idea where you can listen to for amateur radio stuff. So of course, there's the bottom of this list that is the HF up to the long wave stuff, but you do have the modes that start uh, we can almost start at 10 meters because a lot of uh, actually a lot of scanner radios go down below 30 they some start at 25 megahertz some start at 28 or 30 so 28 or 29 so this could be still useful for some of you so from the 10 meter handband 28 to 29.7 which is still hf by the way but then you have, of course, 6 meters, 50 to 54 megahertz. Uh, you have the separate uh, different uh, band plans there. So it's very detailed as to what uh, each frequency range within, for example, 6 meter band, uh, where to transmit, what mode is used, and so on. 2 meters, uh, 1.25 meters, which is 222 to 225. And the U.S., for example, here in Canada, we're still at 220 to 225. So it gives you an idea of that there are differences here. 70, to 70 centimeters, which is 420 to 450 megahertz. Some is 430 to 450. Some is just 440 to 450. So you got to adapt depending on where you are. But it gives you an idea, like I said, of where you can listen on the modes and try different things. And of course, this has all the bands up to very, very high frequency ranges where uh, a lot of devices don't actually go there. Uh, to note here, 3.3 to 3.5 gigahertz, which is about to be lost in the U.S. as the ARRL is trying to maintain, but uh, there's a lot of uh, talk about the FCC removing this away and so on. So all the different modes are here. I will actually share this page with you guys so that you can actually check out which are the frequency range for the different amateur bands if you want to try and find out signals and see what you can hear in your region of the world on amateur radio VHF UHF frequencies. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.